the length of a side of a triangle uh, are in geometric progression. The longest side has a length of 36 cm and the parameter is 76. And find the length of the shorter side. So what we can do is actually um, we can put A, uh, the longer side. So suppose you know actually in the side of a triangle, there can only be three terms, right? So if they are in geometric progression, what we can do is we can actually list out uh, these three terms as maybe one of the sides A, the other side can be AR, the last term can be AR square. The longer side has a length of 36 cm. Okay, so we can also say that you know AR square, okay, given that uh, okay, R square than zero, AR square, we can assume that AR square is equal to 76. Sorry, not 76, uh, 36. We can assume that the longer side, assuming the AR square is the longer side, we can say that AR square equals 36. And we can also assume that the parameter 76 is A plus AR plus AR square is equal to 76. Right, uh, this is equation 1. And you can also sub equation 1 into 2. And we can say that, you know, if we sub 1 into 2, Right, we just have A plus AR and AR square is 36, so we have 36 equals AR square plus 76 equals 76 and then A plus AR is just equals to 40. This means that A bracket 1 plus R is equals to 40. And yeah, what do we do from here? Okay, so maybe you can call this equation 3. Alright, next, how do we find the length of the shortening? How do we find what is A? We are given that. If you look at, you know, just taking one, you compare one, then you actually compare three, right? It is possible that if you use equation one, equation three, you can actually make your a disappear. So for example, if I take one, divide by three, right? So very smart. Okay, you can just take this is just a r square divided by a bracket one plus r, which is uh thirty six over 40 and your a cancels out quite nicely all right and you simplify on both sides you have 40 r square equals to 36 bracket 1 plus r uh, dividing by 9 on both 10 on both sides is it mm. so it's dividing by 4 on both so you can have 10 and 9 so 10 r square equals to 9 plus 9 r 10 r square minus 9 r minus 9 equals to zero and factorizing this you will get a five r plus three two r minus three equals to zero now what does that mean uh, so r could be equals to three over two or r can be equals to negative uh, three over five all right but remember our r is a common ratio so it, it has got to be uh, positive all right remember r has got to be positive okay because in, in, in this case your r right we are referring to the side of a triangle so your r has to be positive right and observe right all the r has to be positive but because if, if r is negative so what, what does it say you know, so you will be given uh with that right given that r is equals to 3 over 2 and you just use equation 1 use uh, maybe equation 1 right r is equals to 3 over 2 and you know that you just sub maybe a r square which is equals to 36 and a 3 over 2 square is equals to 36 this means that a bracket 9 over 4 is equals to 36 and therefore a should be equals to 16 right so therefore length of shorter side equals to 16 cm.